Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun Halloween treat package for you using our playful ghost stamp set. This is an online exclusive. You won't find it in the catalog, but you can find it on the Stampin' Up! website. Uh, this little treat holder has a belly band and the belly band just slides off. If I can take my post-it note with my measurements off. <laughs> Let's try that again. Slides off like that and then it opens up and it's like a little, like a little envelope for those, um, well, they're the Reese's Halloween pumpkins. I'll show you the package. Um, of course, I just got them at the grocery store, but I linked them on Amazon if you wanna see exactly what they are. All right, well, let's get started. We're gonna do a little bit of a watercolor background. We're gonna color with Stampin' Blends, and we're gonna do some heat embossing. All right, so let's start with our watercolor circle. I've got a piece of watercolor paper that I cut with the, um, Spotlight on Nature dies. I love this circle. And we're going to um, just watercolor it with Gorgeous Grape. And I put a little bit of Gorgeous Grape there on my block. And then I'm just gonna add some water. And then I'm just really just kind of dropping it down. We don't want it to be too perfect. We want it to just be almost like a smoky or cloudy, spooky night like that. All right, and then what you're gonna do to get a little bit of texture, I'm gonna put it here on the paper towel, get some um, kosher salt, you know, the bigger uh, salt like that, and just set it right there on there. And then when it dries, this is what it looks like. Can you see those little kind of like, I don't know, little dots that the salt creates? I love that, that look on watercolor. All right, so we've got the circle. Now let's make our little ghost guy. Unfortunately, the stamp set doesn't have any dies, so you are gonna need your um, paper snips to cut them out. All right, so there we go, Memento Black. And then I am gonna use, I'm gonna start with Highland Heather for his cape. And I am using the, the light, let's start with the light Highland Heather bullet tip end. And I didn't grab my glasses, and I wish I had. Uh, you wanna just stay right inside that line, go slowly, like that. Tap that color in where the line gets real skinny. All right, got that, now take your dark. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of dark here along the bottom, and kind of up like that. And then I'll switch over to the brush end of my light and just kind of flick that color up like that. All right, now I'm gonna color this patch right here with Highland Heather. And then I'm gonna switch over to Pumpkin Pie Dark and I'm gonna color in every other line. This is really where I need my glasses. Now I can see that the sun is coming in my window. I always forget to close my blinds. So let me finish this part and I will close that for you guys. There we go, hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, um, let's do the brim also. And when the color, or when the area is very small, if you just tap that color in, you're um, gonna have an easier time. All right, now uh, color in that buckle with Daffodil Delight. Then I'm gonna take pumpkin, or pecan pie light for the broom. Color that in, and then I'll use Smoky Slate Light for the handle of the broom. There we go. All right, grab your paper snips, and the first thing you wanna do is cut off all that extra uh, cardstock. Just get it all out of there, okay? Then we're just gonna stay right on the outside of the image. I'm kind of leaving a little bit of a white border as I go around. Move the paper with your opposite hand and just stay right on the outside, go slowly.
All right, there we go. We've got our cute little ghost guy. And now the last thing we need to do for our tag is to emboss the sentiment. I've got a basic black stylish shape circle here. Or <laughs> that is a square. I did teach kindergarten and first grade for 17 years. So I do know my shapes. I do. All right, now you can't see the ink because it's clear. Um, let's see, I've got my embossing tray right here. I'm gonna take my uh, reverse tweezers and hold it. We'll sprinkle some of that. I didn't use my embossing buddy. I hope I'm not sorry. Your embossing buddy helps you to get rid of any static that will hold on to those um, powder granules where you don't want them. All right, heat it up with your heat tool. And there we go. Now I'm a little bit off centered, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me for the sake of the video. All right, we've got a piece of pumpkin pie that is three by 11. We're gonna score it at three and a fourth and seven and a half. And you're gonna fold this in. One side is smaller than this other side, so the smaller side is gonna go in the front, okay? This side, we're gonna die cut a hole in it in just a second. Now you're also gonna need a one by 11 inch piece of uh, designer series paper. Looks like mine's a little bit too long. Um, you're gonna score it in the middle, or you guys can just fold it in half like that. All right. Now, I talked about cutting that hole there in the, in the inside, the slot. I am using this die. It is from the Changing Leaves Hybrid Embossing Folder and Dies. Um, if you don't have that die, look through your dies and your punches and just look for something that is long and skinny. All right, and we're gonna put this on here, cut and emboss machine. And if worst comes to worst, you can draw a rectangle on there and cut it out with like an um, uh, exacto knife or your take the crafter's tip of your take your pick tool. All right, run that through. I'm doing it about an inch down from the top. And we don't need that piece. So you can save that for something else or recycle it. Okay. So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put adhesive along this side right here. And we're gonna fold that in like that. Okay, and I'm leaving it a little bit loose so I can fit my candies in there. They fit just like this, but let's put our paper on the front first. All right, here's our piece of designer series paper. Put that piece right there and then we can take our little guys put them in like that all right now take your long and skinny piece and I'm just gonna staple it like that on the outside okay and I am gonna trim that down because that's a little bit too long all right grab your let's put our tag on our cute little decorations what, now you wanna make sure you just adhere this to the belly band so it slides off. Okay, there's that. And we'll put this guy kind of up in the left hand side and we'll put the little trick or treat square kind of slide that in underneath him like that. All right, last but not least, let's add a bow. This is my iridescent striped ribbon. This is beautiful ribbon. It's very light and delicate. It's not gonna be heavy or bulk up your project. Okay, and then we just need a mini glue dot. And we're gonna put that right there. And there is a fun little treat that you can hand out on Halloween. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out the other two playful Halloween, playful ghost projects and the free PDF, and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.